So, what does the August 1st implementation of the TILA RESPA Integrated Disclosure Rule from the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, or CFPB, mean for you as a real estate agent? Let's take a high-level look. Starting August 1st, 2015, when your buyers submit an application for most closed-end consumer mortgage loans, the lender or creditor must provide a loan estimate to your buyers within three business days. Replacing the current good faith estimate and truth in lending initial disclosure, the loan estimate is designed to help consumers when shopping for mortgage loans by getting rid of the confusion caused by having two different forms discussing the loan with different terminology. Now let's jump ahead. Your buyers have been approved for their loan. They've found their dream home, signed the contract, and it's time to set the closing date. All the final loan and settlement costs must be gathered and provided to your clients in the closing disclosure, which uses the same format and language to make it easy for consumers to compare numbers with the loan estimate. This ensures that there are no surprises at the closing and that consumers understand their future financial obligations. Replacing the HUD-1 and final truth in lending disclosure on most closed-end consumer mortgage loans, it is the lender's responsibility to ensure that your buyers receive this disclosure three business days prior to consummation. Business days are defined as Monday through Saturday, except when they fall upon federal holidays. What is consummation? It's the point in time when your buyers become contractually obligated to the creditor on the loan under state law. Most lenders are defining consummation as the date on which the note is signed. Often, this is the same as the closing date when the final paperwork is signed. However, in an escrow state, it could be a different date from the closing. If the disclosure is sent via mail, overnight, secure email, etc., it must be sent an additional three business days prior to in-hand date, so six business days prior to consummation, to ensure your buyers will have ample time to review. The timing of consummation can be affected by one of three major changes that can trigger a new closing disclosure and new three business days review period. First, an APR change of more than one eighth of 1% on most loans and one quarter of 1% on others. Second, if a prepayment penalty is added to the loan. Third, and most importantly, if there is a change to the loan product itself such as moving from a fixed rate loan to an adjustable rate loan. For example, a buyer may decide to switch loan product types. This may push back the closing date after the buyer consults with the lender about the change. That's the big picture. Now, if you'd like to take a more in-depth look at the story behind the CFPB and creation of the TRID rule, the new disclosures, timing implications, or the new terminology associated with the rule, visit stuart.com slash CFPB.